What's up anime fans and convention goers? It's Little Ren and we are so close. Well actually we've already started convention season here in the United States, but here in Atlanta, we are just getting started with some really big ones like Momocon 2014. So we need to come together and give you guys a list of things you need to know whether you are going to convention for the very first time or you are a seasoned convention goer who just seems to have forgotten these rules. So here is our top list. First on the list is to schedule ahead of time. A lot of conventions these days have schedules, like they have app schedules. Of course they have the paper one that gets all flimsy and like falls out of your bag, but they have schedules that you can put on your phone so you can know exactly what you wanna do, who's gonna be where, what concerts to see throughout the day. And it's important to schedule at least 30 minutes ahead of time to get in line for these things, otherwise you will be waiting forever. You might not even get to see that awesome idol that you've been waiting for that they flew in just from Japan. So schedule ahead of time, get the app. It's definitely going to make your entire game great. Next on our list is the dreaded con crud. Oh, it's so disgusting and it's gross and it's slimy and it's real. Like people are really getting this before cons, after cons, during cons. You guys need to learn how to wash your hands, take showers, do all those things normal people do on a day-to-day -day basis. Just because it's a weekend long convention doesn't mean you can like lose your entire insanity and not be hygienically correct. So Follow everything that you would usually do, like I said, take baths, take showers. If you need to take vitamins throughout the weekend to kind of keep your energy up, those are really, really good actually. So maybe we can like, you know, find some for you, like make a little con, like vitamin thing that we can like give to you guys so that you guys will just stay healthy. And it's just really important because you guys are too close to touching each other and kissing on each other to be disgusting like that. So concrete is really important to look out for. Respect your surroundings. We're at a convention, it's very close quarters, you're going through the hallways, you're bumping into people's like huge like skirts that they're made of crinoline and everywhere from cosplays. And you really have to understand that this is just normal. When a lot of people get together, it's going to happen. So what you need to do is respect the area that you're in, respect other people, respect other people in costume. If you want to take a picture, don't just snap it. Maybe ask them first. Respect photographers if they ask for your picture and you're really tired and you just don't want to take a picture right now be nice about it because they don't know if you've been standing in five inch heels for the past like 30 hours and you're a guy so you need to be really respectful about everyone around you again this is a convention it's not a zoo we're gonna be real people and we're gonna be really nice to each other and it's gonna make everyone's experience really really happy Ultimately, the most important, you have to eat and drink real food at conventions. Little Ren has a rule. Just because it is clear does not mean you can drink it all weekend long. Yes, there are great foods that go on conventions. Don't drink if you're underage. There's great fatty foods you can eat at conventions, like the $1,600 a plate food that you can get at the hotel. But you need to remember that you need to eat and drink normal food while you're there. No, Pocky is not normal food. Yes, ramen is better food, Water is the best. It's not food, but you need to consume it constantly throughout the weekend. It helps to prevent con crud. It helps to prevent you from passing out in the middle of standing for long, long times in the hot sun in a costume. And it helps to, well, bathe in, which goes back to con crud and you not being disgusting. But also you need to consume it inside. Bring your food with you to the convention, whether you're staying in the hotel all weekend or staying just for a day. Pack a lunch, pack lunch materials. You can go get lunch materials from the dollar store. Yes, they sell delicious lunch meats and bread and mayonnaise and those little forky things that you need to spread the mayonnaise on. You can bring all that in a cooler and it'll save you tons of money because you know the only reason you're not eating is because you really can't afford that super industrial beautiful model of Sailor Jupiter that you've been pining over forever, Manga Knight. Totally worth it. But the ultimate goal of a convention is to go, have fun, make new friends, talk geeky, dress up, dress down, dance, do whatever you want to do when you go to a convention. You just need to make sure that you are staying healthy and you are staying nice and respecting other people's surroundings so everybody has a good time with you. So we're going to be at conventions around starting with Momocon 2014 and going on throughout the rest of the year to a lot of fun conventions, geeky events around town that we want to see you guys at and not dehydrated, passed out on the floor. So if there's anything we forgot, comment down below and let us know if there's any points you think are important for a first time con goer or somebody who you think needs to get a little reminder of the way to be respectful during the convention. We will see you guys soon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're gonna be putting up all sorts of pictures when we go to these conventions and we want to tag you and see you guys in them. So signing out, this is Little Ren. Hey, oh, comic book aficionados, and today I'm bringing you comic book news.